contains vilpristine and vilblastine. That's two chemical compounds that are used to treat what we call lymphoma, that's cancer of the lymph nodes. Now, you don't know that, and you have cancer, you might be paying thousands of dollars for chemotherapy, but there is a plant that contains that same chemical, plus all some synergist chemicals that also help these chemicals to work better, and antagonist chemicals that prevent the ill side effects of these chemicals within that same plant. But what you see that is happening, we have to understand that instead of sharing the knowledge, there was this big study done on, on, thing on sour soft fossil. I'm sure you heard about that. Now they call it graviola. That was in the early 1980s in, 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 South, in, in South and Central America. And they found out that, 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 that the sour soft the fossil has anti-cancer properties and all type of properties. But it was difficult to patent that all these properties in a human cell. So what, 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 the, what the company did, they, they hid all the, all, the, all the information that was just resurrected about So why, why is it not important that they share the, the, this kind of information with the rest of the world? If you're saying like the sour soft or the cover soil that we know it here has so many properties, hidden properties, why would they not want to share this? And, and why is it just limited to persons like yourself? Well, you see, if you want to keep something away from a black man, you put it in a book. People don't read it. You understand, like, if you, you have to read, you have to know what is it that you are doing, you know what I mean? But our people don't read. So I will know information, because while mostly everybody else is sleeping, I'm up on my computer. I'm researching, I'm listening to, to upcoming news, you know? They have different news stations that you could listen to, that, that the conventional news, you know? And you could research it, you could go into the magazines, and you could read things. The internet has lots of information. Now, this course, all, right? Right now, it came out as graviola. Now, still, people like the, ourselves, people who go to the health food shop down here and buy graviola, you know, because anti cancer health graviola and they don't need fossil. You know, that's what I'm talking about. So, the, the information has to be brought down to the, to the simple man that could literally be able to use that information. Education, whereby you cannot assist your civilization or your, your, civilization or your nation to better itself with no education at all. So, what we're saying is that. At the Fortean Hotel, I'll be showing you how these drugs come out of our herbs and how is that you could utilize these drugs to help to prevent the catastrophe that I'm seeing. So what I'm saying is that it, I, I, I already knew what is happening to our children. It's obvious. You could see it. I mean, some people might, might want to hide from somebody else and get the stats to believe it. But I know that, and what I am saying is that these five-year-olds are going to get heart attack at 10 and 11 and 12 and 14. That is what we have to work to prevent. And it is not something that is impossible. America brought down the childhood obesity by 80%. You understand why? Because they put laws into putting guidelines into how, what our children eat in these schools, what our children, what, what, what you are allowed to sell to my child. You cannot have fast food companies coming here and selling anything. In America, they ban McDonald's Happy Meals. Why? Because they realize that McDonald's Happy Meals is the is the is the cause that's one of the chief causes of what we call um, childhood obesity. It's just like advertising cigarettes to children. They're gonna take the junk food that they know that's not good. They're going to put SpongeBob or they're going to put some put some cartoon character and they're gonna sell that to your child and kill your child. And you, as a parent. You think that you are doing your child a favor, even by doing that, by giving them these specific junk foods to kill them. So what we are saying is, we need to begin to incorporate drastic measures right now. And the reason I'm having my lectures here in Dominica, as I would say, is that not because some people say, oh, that's a guy, barely getting it good in Dominica. The small population, you understand? What we sell here, the, our easy price, our US price in other countries. But I'm you. So what we have to understand, if you pay 20 ECA to come to a lecture, you pay 20 US if you're in a US country, or sometimes even more. You understand? So the knowledge that you are about, you are receiving, is about opening up your mind. So the doctors here, they have an important role to play. Our doctors, I mean, there's a place for a doctor. But, you, but, but it's going to be said, though, that you are, are attacking conventional medicine. You're attacking the, the pharmacies that uh, most people know about. How, how do you defend that? Is that a fear comment? I don't have to defend that. Of course, I'm attacking the pharmaceutical companies. You know, um, the the bear. You, you, you're, you're attacking them. Why? I'm not. Um, why, why I'm attacking? I'm not attacking. I'm just putting out the knowledge. I'm attacking them because they are destroying our people. They're killing our people, and our people have no hope in that capacity. 
But I'm saying there is a need for a pharmacist. Farmer is supposed to be dispensing the herbs and the different things, integrating it. If there is a drug that help our people outside here, I could see the first, I'd say, boy, this is a good capsule. You could use that, you know. I know that, well, I'm, nothing wrong happened to you, you know. I, I, yeah, I would vouch for it. But the doctors do have a place. I'm not attacking the doctors. I went to, to I know many doctors here. I was in Cuba Medical School together with. Just hold on a second. Let's take a phone call. Hello. Hi, good morning. Uh -huh. Very good information. Thank you. But um, I would really like a um, doctor to focus more on the preventative aspect than the curative aspect, whether it be herbal cure or, or pharmaceutical cure. I think if we focus more on the prevention, there will probably be no need for, for cure. But, but, um, Carla, how, how concerned are you because the, 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 um, the, the traditional healer here, uh, you could call him doctor, if you will, um, I, and I know, I, I, I know the voice very well, are you about you know, children being obese these days? What are your concerns about that? I'm very much concerned, yes, yes. and um, I think it stems from the genes as well. But you don't want to add insult to injury, so the preventive ad approach of child rearing is very important. And we have to start with the basics, you know, from 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 nursing to um, toddler diet, and then to you know children's diet, and then to adulthood. I think. This is the information we really need to pour into all people. Why breast milk is best? Why local pureed foods are best? Why unadulterated foods are best? And if we focus on this aspect of um, life and living, I think most of the problems can be averted. All right, thank you. Uh, the caller wants some focus on preventative, preventative care. But why are our children obese? I, I need to get down to that again. Why, why are they obese? Why are they bigger than they used to be? Yes, give thanks to your brother. Well, as the caller says, she wants to see, as I said, that's my first time I'm touching that. Thing. Yes. I've never touched that before. And all the time we come, we want to talk about this preventative mm -hmm. and what people mm -hmm. can do. So it's important to keep that in mind. But one, one, and it's good that the, 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 the sister, she sounds like a, a medical personnel also, that if she is aware that these things need to be done, I mean, I would, I would assist her if I can in helping her to do it. Um, even sit down on a program with one, we discuss it and things that we could, the information we could just pass to the nation to enlighten them. Childhood obesity, she says the genes, um, you could pass on genes to your child, not Levi's and these things, you know, but your, your, your DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Now, th these genes, I did a lecture in London once um, for the London Professional Union how food affects DNA. And one of the, one of the, since it is a, like a governmental organization, one of the people, the, the concern was that, because I'm a, a Rastafari, I have been a bias. And, there were, and the, one of the gentlemen is a high position, I said there is no link to that, and that, and that. but the same week, uh, BBC came out with an article, how vitamins affect the DNA and prevent aging. So in that capacity, when I came and gave that lecture, I just put the ice, the icing on the cake. Because what we have to realize, even the chicken that our children eat so constantly contains, as I said previously in your program, that if I still wish for synthetic estrogens, that actually changes the DNA of the mother, that even the child consumes it, whereby when they pass it on to their children, they have defective genes, whereby they, they have a higher propensity of getting diabetes, fibroids, all these things. So what we are saying, the food that the children are eating, as I said previously the pre on, on our previous program when we were here, that when you give a child a fast food, you give them cow's milk. A glass of cow's milk have the same level of cholesterol as a glass of, of, of beef chopped together. So you have to see that you're giving them that same cholesterol. When you give them the pizza, the ice cream, all these things come from dairy. What do you think is going to happen? The high simple carbohydrate foods. All them foods with lots of sugar, the crumbles, the chips, the, the, the chips. All these things contain lots of carbohydrates. Now when you consume high carbs, what literally happens is that these carbs get converted into fats and it, it's turned into your physical structure as fat. So you don't have to eat fat to get fat. If you eat lots of simple carbs, you also get fat. That is what we have to specifically look at. Now why is it that I concentrate on this program, I mentioned the ill effects of the drugs, is because 
we cannot just go and leave because I don't want to start to see children receiving.